Let me summarize in a few short minutes a teaching that I just gave to the family at the sanctuary. The title is Embrace the Suck, Ruck Up, and Move Out. It's what I believe is a fresh word on the subject of walking by faith in the will of God for your life. Embrace the suck, ruck up, and move out comes from a saying used by special forces in the military that really, I think, graphically describes a healthy and helpful attitude as we walk out our daily lives. Sometimes we we get so caught up in religious-sounding conversation that the heart of the message doesn't really break through on a practical daily level. It's what I call VRG, verbalized religious garbage. Now, some of the things that we are saying are actually true and not really garbage, but when you put it in the package, it's not helpful. So that's why I call it that. Embrace the suck. That doesn't mean that you accept the barriers in life in a que sera, sera manner. Oh, well, what will it be? Whatever it'll be, it'll be. That's what it is. That My life sucks, and that's the way it'll always be. It means it is what it is at this moment, and it does absolutely no good to complain about things. It is what it is in this moment. Embrace it. In other words, step up instead of laying down and rolling over. Embrace it. You would be absolutely amazed at what getting your mind right will do for you. And then ruck up. Military uh, carry rucksacks to carry their equipment. They ruck up. This is actually another good way of saying, remember who and what you are through Christ, gather up your testimonies, gather up his promises, grab your gear, and move out. Embrace the suck, ruck up, and move out, instead of allowing your mind to drag you downwards into despair and defeat, and just basically getting stuck in the mire and mud of circumstances and emotions. Some of my favorite TV shows are on the History Channel. They're about survival, remote survival is what I'm watching right now. And it's uh, just very interesting. It's absolutely amazing what the body can push through when the mind is right. I believe that's one of the reasons why we are instructed by the Apostle Paul to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Ephesians 2.20 says this, that we are God's workmanship, his design, his handiwork, his creation. And it has a purpose to do good works, like our master Jesus, who went about doing good and healing all the oppression of the devil. Quick side note, the implication in that scripture and talking about Jesus going about doing good works The implication in the original language used was that there was supernatural energy involved in the good works. See, God designed us. He had a purpose that we would be doers of righteous deeds, which includes every possible description of good for others that you can imagine, and more on top of that, not just religious sounding stuff. It includes any and every possible calling, vocation, and avocation known to mankind. That same chapter says that we are his temple. The Lord is building a temple in your city, in your neighborhood, in your home, and it is not a religious one. It is very spiritual. but That includes all kinds of facets that we've mistakenly called secular. Each one of the stones in that uh, temple is your calling. Let me say that again. Each one of the stones in that temple that he's building is your calling, your gifting, fueled by your desires and abilities, empowered by the Holy Spirit wisdom and supernatural energy, whether or not it feels supernatural at the time. The supernatural realm can affect the feelings, but the supernatural realm is not defined by feelings. But you say, I don't know what the will of God is for me. I don't know what my purpose is. That, my friend, has been your excuse, not a legitimate reason. You see, I delayed starting a book, or actually books, that I know that God has called me to write for 35 years. Can you believe it? And the delay has been the simple phrase, I don't know where or how to start. Here's the magic of discovering God's plan and purpose designed in and for you. 
two words. Just start. Just start anywhere. With anything. Just start. Which is what I myself decided to do. And guess what? Magic. The words then kept flowing one right after the other. Ideas would come that wouldn't come until the first step is taken. That is just the way it works. So here is where embrace the suck, ruck up, and move out comes in. In anything worth doing, you will meet resistance in all shapes and sizes, some small, some large, some seemingly impossible to encounter and overcome. But here's another clue. All things are possible through Christ. Doesn't mean you aren't going to have to embrace the suck, ruck up, and move out. Some of the resistances will be of a spiritual nature, or what we would call demonic. Some of the resistances will come from friends and family. You may not always be supported the way you think you will be or the way you think you deserve. Be humble. Keep seeking God's wisdom. Make adjustments when necessary. That's part of rucking up. True humility will never hurt you. In fact, it will help you to better follow the Lord's leadership. You don't know everything in the beginning. Don't get frozen to one idea. Sometimes the Lord will do you a great favor in not providing everything you think you need to accomplish what you want to do. He spoke into my heart one time, lack has been your salvation. Huh, interesting word, huh? In the area he was speaking of, if I had had enough resource to do what I wanted to do, I most likely would have defaulted to what I knew, the pre-established map. He had something new in mind, which lack of resources kept me on that road. God has given you a mission. Say that with me. God has given me a mission. Go ahead, say it. God has given me a mission. You see, you can also add to that I'm not sure everything that's involved, but I know it's to be true simply because he says that I was created for good works. So, I am going to complete my mission. Say that with me. So, I am going to complete my mission. Once more, so I am going to complete my mission. Get down and dirty with that statement. Look in the mirror and keep saying it with intensity. Mean it. Get your mind right. I am going to complete my mission. I'm going to embrace the suck, ruck up, and move out. <laughs>